welcome back to Extra Life 2021, hour number 14 for me. We're just past 1 a.m. on Sunday. I don't know when the clock rolls back. I think it's about 2 or 3 a.m., something like that. Hour goes back, uh, the clock goes back an hour because of daylight savings time. So I'll be saying it twice uh, at the beginning of two of these recordings. Well, it's 3 a.m. Oh, it's 3 a.m. again. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> because of happy daylight savings time. Yes, exactly. Oh, is it already happened now? Just roll back to at 2, so it's now 1 again. Okay, so it, was, it just happened. Okay, I didn't even notice the change. Yay! For most people, they gain an hour of sleep. For me, I lose 25 hours. So, uh, here we go. Or rather, I lose 24 because I gained one. Anyway, so <laughs> let's uh, complete this uh, sanctuary of the ski on. As soon as my cat Zoe rolls back up in here, I'm going to play with her for just a few minutes so she doesn't feel totally neglected. Um, I have just the thing to distract her right here. But um, until she does, let's get going. We need to climb to the top of this sphinx. Ah, goodness. So now let's get onto its left paw here. I think we can do that just right here. We don't have to go around to the front. Oh no, we need, it's, oh, it's left paw being its left uh, paw, not its right paw. Oops, sorry. Shouldn't be too difficult, though. We still haven't opened up the door at the base. I think that'll be towards the end. And if I remember correctly, uh, just below this sphinx is a uh, huge underground pool or lake or whatever. With two more giant statues down there that we have to traverse around. So this we're not even halfway done with this level, I think. Yeah, the underground pool beneath the Sphinx, we... Okay. So, first things first, like I said, uh, we need to get back up here, so... On the left paw. Okay, so it slowly reach its back, and under the low angle block on the Sphinx, is back from there, and back of its head. Okay, I remember that. And the onx, to replace those, it's fine. Got the Uzis already in the clips. So let's get up there first. Worry about that, and then we'll worry about getting back down. I don't want to read ahead too, too much here. Just enough. Now we got to do this little thing over here, if I remember right. No, not okay. Fine, we'll just do it with this. Oops, sorry. Uh, I guess we gotta take a step back here and then one forward. Really? Aww. Okay. Maybe we do have to use this. I don't remember this part. Okay, yeah, it's just flat enough. All right. Thought we had to use it, but okay. Never mind. Oh. Yeah, there we go. This is how we do it. So first of all, an aunt goes back here. And nothing happens yet. And then... Thank you. Appreciate that. And then I think we need to hop back to up there here. And yes, I know we're at the top of the Sphinx's head. Thanks for showing us that camera angle. It's a wonder. I know. Uh, they suck. Actually, it's my controller, I think, that sucks most. It's this... Uh, 
uh, Xbox One controller. And the D-pads on these controllers suck. I'm sorry. They just don't feel as good as the PS4 controllers. But I don't feel like you know, going and getting my uh, PS4 control controller out from the other room right now. Oops. Ouch. I will heal that up now. We have 40 of these things, so we can afford this one. Um, but, and, and I debated it for the this for a while whether or not I should use a controller at all or just the original PC keyboard controls but I decided controller because I've played this game plenty of times before using the PC keyboard controls and I just figured I'd try something a little bit different this time using the controller because I don't think I've ever actually played this on the PS1 back in the day so I figured well this is the next best thing so let's do it this way uh, yeah, I would love to have, um, some, some, several, preferably, of those 8-bit do controllers, uh, specifically for, like, the Switch, or even for the PC, of course, uh, so it makes playing those emulated games much more authentic feeling. Actually using them with the, uh, NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. Uh, because that will connect up to my computer, which runs the emulators. But anyway, that's another, that's a story for another time. Hmm. All right, we have placed the onks. <sighs> have to hock it up. Onk. Uh, placed those. And now I guess we go through the door in the middle. Is that, uh, is that it? That's what will take us to that un giant mammoth underground pool. Yep, yeah, that's it. Ah, oh, with the Egyptian gods Horus on the left with the falcon's head and Set on the right with the head like an aardvark crossed with a jackal. Horus and Set. Yeah. Because those guys are trustworthy. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, okay, that was actually pretty safe. Cool. And speaking of, I don't know, Boone's like if you caught my message on, uh... Discord about what to do with the server. I'd love, love to get your input on that. But first, let's jump down into this mammoth cave down here. With these two statues. Now, where are we supposed to go first down here? We have some oozy clips on the ledge between the two sections, shark on trailers, and okay, so I can see those from here. Okay. Then we'll go up and get some more. some air some deep deep water here okay uh, let's see well, eventually we're gonna have to lower this water level at, at some point some way somehow Where's below each statue and the switch on the arm of the statue on the right? Yep, there's more kind of water down there. Where's down on the tunnel and the feet, the feet of the statue on the right, just to the right of the gold door. So that's down here somewhere. Then we're, 
resulting flow of water will pull us on in. We have no choice in the matter. The current pulls us. Okay. And I think we gotta get up there on that ledge with those steps. Yeah, looks like it. jump and a long handstand okay yeah I think we have a is this going to go down okay fine we will go down So if yet, uh, instead shoot from the safe. Well, oh yep, yeah, he's definitely right there. But I don't know if I'll be able to shoot it from here because you know, again, getting these guys to show up right where you want them to is quite a feat. Come on. Sometimes they'll, they'll get right in front of you, but more often than not, they just fly away and they won't come back for a while. Or they might get stuck on something else and you don't even know it. Come on, come on. It's almost worth it for me just to go on down there anyway and, and shoot at it at near point blank. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Yay. Alright, now we gotta do some tricky going downs here. So let's give it a good save. Ooh, that was our 100th save the last time. Yay. Now, here we are with 101. And we want to do some safety drops. To be careful. Uh, we don't want a safety drop there. That would be a bad time. But I think we want to get on top of this statue's head. There might be something on it or something, or the other side of it that we need to get to. Is that right? No, we actually want to go over to the head of the statue of Set. Okay. That was not going to be my first choice, but yeah, I mean, we can do that. <coughs> Set said. A large meta pack. Pick up a large meta pack where? There, there's no. Meta pack here. Meta pack is not visible. You partially or completely embedded in the statue's right ear. Using the look button and swiveling arms, we help you spot it. I think yep, Zoe's in here again. Um, just step into the air where it meets the top of the head. Show the screenshot for a section. Lara should pick it up the meta pack. All right, Lara, you about right? Yeah, see, it's it's in the ear. Ooh. 
Because of course it is. Yep, there he, she's able to pick it up. Okay. Cool. Bang into an invisible wall, then drop into the water. Really essential to the damage. Okay. I mean, I guess it's worth a try. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? Yeah. That doesn't work. Take a running jump straight down the statue's nose. Or bang into an invisible wall, then drop into the water. Okay. So. Well, hey, what do you know? It worked. <laughs> Banged into a invisible wall and fell down into the water. Um. Left side of the body. Let's switch uh, towards the base of our statue. Okay, so uh, wait, what? It's impossible. To, okay, so um, alternatively, walk to the edge of Set's head nearer to the horse statue. Drop down to the ledge with car tire delivery. From there, drop down to Set's shoulder. Turn to face out of the pool, walk to the edge, hop at once, and then take a stand jump on the tall, dark brown block sticking up. Statues drop down the left side of the block onto the set statue's lap, then climb up with his opposite arm. And use a the switch there. This opens the door at the base of the horse statue. Swim down and through it. Wait a minute. So if I didn't do that and instead I took this path, then where am I supposed to go? Drop down and set shoulder, turn to face out over the pool, walk to the edge. Hop back once, take a same jump with tall dark ground, sticking up, turn to the set his block onto the set statue's lap, then climb up with his opposite arm. And you, okay, so we. Oops, I hit the keyboard there. So we do actually want to get up here into. Yeah, the lap. Alright. Which opens the door. On the Horus statue, apparently. There, yep. Swim down through it, service on the following passage passageway. Only pick up two sets of magnum clips. Oh, this is going to be, yeah, okay. This leads back to, at least eventually, back up to the giant sphinx. Sounds like one of my Echo or... Google devices heard me say something and, and uh Um Yeah, okay, never mind. The echo devices are hearing me say stuff. I didn't even say the word the the E word. I don't know why it thought that I did. Oh, oh well, up this very, very long and winding and exhausting ramp case. It's not a staircase, it's a ramp case. 
It takes us all the way back up past the top of the Horus statue and to the base, I guess, or middle of uh, somewhere around there um, of the Sphinx statue up above. Oops, hit the wrong key for walk. Yeah, Alexa, stay out of it. Yeah. Don't think there's any enemies here. Oh, there will be soon, though. So let's go to... Ooh, I got 43 shells. Dang, that's Magnum. All right. Let's save it. I think the moment I pick this up is when this opens. And I will have to fight them. Yep. You hear that? Horse hooves? That's centaurs. As well as regular mutants, too. <laughs> Quote unquote, regular mutants. Oh, oh, oh there, now they're all coming out. Hey, no crowding, please. No crowding. There's plenty of me to go around. Oh, didn't, didn't make it wow, they just came right on in there, didn't they? May need to switch weapons. Try it again. A few more times this way. No, Zoe, this is not a good time. And we still have centaurs to deal with, at least one. So, let's see, let's, uh... Let's just have a small one here for now. Side to side works. Thirty percent of the time, it works a hundred percent of the time. All right, I'm sure you recognize this place. So now that we have that scarab we just picked up, we can now open up this door right over here. situate my butt here yeah after about 13 or so hours this chair really doesn't start to feel all that comfortable anymore <sighs> sorry to say okay Scarab, lock and open the other gate. We're almost done with this level. Oh, yes. Okay. We pick up a nice large meta pack, some more magnums. Yeehaw. And I guess we just. Climb up in here. Because there's nowhere else to go here. Whoops. Don't do that. But we'll probably need a good weapon. Uh, we'll stick with the magnums. 
because we're not done yet. We have more to fight. And I that still is... got a pain in my brain from you. And it's telling me funny ideas now, like to shoot you to hell. Poor old Larson. She didn't like it when I... He didn't like it when I kicked him in the head there, but I guess I can't blame him. He doesn't drop anything, though. Okay. Um... All right, here we are. Uh, we're at the uh, end of this level. Ready for another movie cutscene? Here we go. The third and final piece of the ski on. Yay! Da -da -da. So that is 15 kills, 29 items. That's all of them. And the one and only secret that was the floating magnum mags in midair. Okay. And whew, we're getting there. <laughs> only a few more levels to go, like three or four, I think, before the end of the game. Ah. Uh, Sanctuary of the Ski on. Here we go. Or the, you know what I mean, the uh, movie to end this chapter and begin the next. Here we are. <gasps> you just pulled the tough end of a wishbone. Howdy. Afternoon. Left Larson sucking wind then, eh? If that is the phrase. Well, your little vacation riot's over now. Time to give back what you've hijacked off <gasps> me. Let's try the lunchbox. <clears throat> well, kill her! Hey! Slapped him in the middle of the water. Check that entire apartment the entire time. Check the apartment the entire time. Apparently not. Take us out. Just kind of okay, so uh, here we go with the next stage. 
Natla's Mimes. Not Mimes, Mines. This starts and begins Chapter 4, Act 4, or whatever. Uh, can't surface over here, because that's too high, so we have to come over here to surface. And, uh, this is also a, an unnecessarily long freaking level that I can completely do without. What we do with it being cut in half or something, I don't know. But, uh, as you can see, we have had our weapons removed thanks to his goons, but they left us some magazines. So there's that, I guess. Uh, and all our med packs, they didn't take those. Yay. Okay. So we're going to need to get our weapons back, find out where Natla and her goons are, and where they've taken the ski on. And see what happens from there. We. I think this is a good moment here. It's 1.36 a.m. We're going to take a short break here. Another wellness break. Everyone get up. Stretch your legs. Hydrate. Drink some water. Go use the restroom. Grab a snack. Or a drink. Whatever. I think it's a good, good time as any to do that now. If we're at the beginning of a new chapter and a new stage. I'm going to go ahead and put on the burb screen. In fact, this time I'm going to go to the Extra Life video screen because you can't forget the whole point of this marathon is for Extra Life. And I do, even though I have already met my goal and exceeded my goal, thanks to you generous donat donat donators for your don generous donations. Yes, I'm starting to feel the effects. Um... I would still love to get more. So if you can afford anything at all, please donate at the link down below in the description on YouTube or just that nice big blue extra life button on Twitch below the video. Um, so I'll let you in the meantime, watch a couple of videos of that while I go and stretch my legs for a bit because I've been sitting down for too, too long. I will see you all shortly unmute the desktop audio okay and we can resume now in Natla's minds hope everyone had a good little stretch and break uh, let's see no, nothing else has really happened in my absence. A charger grader followed me seven hours ago. No one else has donated. We're still at 260 out of 250. Okay. Nothing to announce then. We'll continue on. We have three secrets in here. There's a lot to do. Natla's Mines is a huge stage, unfortunately, but we have to do it. So let's get cracking. Excuse me. Hmm. So under or behind the waterfall? Yeah, yeah, of course. There has to be something behind the waterfall every time. Every game has to have a waterfall that you can spawn. At least one. And there's a switch. Okay, too. Again, it's best not to ask how all these switches and doors are wired up like this. They just are. It's just, it, we just have to accept it, you know. It, don't go crazy trying to figure it out.
Okay, we don't go up there just yet. All right, that's fine, I guess. We'll go on. Hmm, bunch of barrels falling down. Evidently, now if I remember correctly, we kind of want to go behind here, right? Nope, that's not right. Crap, what is it? Boat and barrels fall to the room. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think the audio died, so let me save and reload. Because that happens from time to time here in this game. Or, nope, it's just no music at all here. Okay. Oh, there's the sound effects. There's the ambiance. All right, good. So I'm not hitting the right action button here. Yeah. There we go. There's the door we opened and another switch beyond it. Which opens another door somewhere else. <laughs> Again, don't question how or why. You'll just go nuts trying to figure it out. Instead, just just go on back, you know, just accept it the way it is. Okay, up here. Now I think we go on ahead. Hey, if that works for you, if that's your head cannon, more power to you, man. Go for it. That makes you happy. See, there's the door we just opened there. I need to get over here. I don't think there's anything back there. Nope, there is anything. safe here. It's, it's pretty much an empty level until you get to, to the mini bosses. And actually I think one of them is in here. No it isn't. No. No mini bosses here. And it has to show you this uh, not floating but um, this room that's been um, lifted up by a crane. Why anyone would do that? Is this a normal thing to do? Maybe in a mine or something? Ha have an office that is lifted up by, a, you know, steel cable? I, I don't, I don't see, I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's breaking my brain. Oh, there's Zoe again. Wanting attention. And making sure that I know she wants attention. You can probably hear it too. Okay, now she saw that I looked at her. So she'll stop. For now. 
Okay. Uh, the dangling building. There you go. That's a good one, Stella. Uh, end up in here in this particular control room. We can't do anything with that dangling building until we find because of course puzzles right until we find three fuses in order to connect the wiring here because that makes total sense you know West. Got a couple of boarded up buildings, some tires, some more junk, movable crate. Yeah. Closed doorway there. Another little passageway over there. And apparently in the ceiling, that's why I was looking up earlier. Yeah, there it is. There's an opening in the ceiling there. So let's uh, put this crate underneath it. That might be important in the near future. That's why things aren't sounding quite right. Okay, I think this is underneath it here now. Yeah, this looks very much underneath it now. Good. Do we want to go up there? Is that what we're doing? No, not quite, but we do want to get on up here on this crate and go to uh, that building right there. Because, hey, look, it has a broken ceiling. And actually, it's not even a building at all. Look, it's rock. <laughs> It's a facade! Meant to hide something. Again, don't question it. It's, it's, it's Tomb Raider Lodge. That's the only explanation. Ooh. A winding tunnel leading to unknown places. Oh, a switch. Please do a switch. Is it okay to hit the switch? At least. Uh... And a switch that moves a boat. Because again, that makes total so sense. So, yeah, this level in particular has a lot of moon logic in it. Well, compared to the rest of the levels, anyway. I don't know. I'd say they're probably about even personally, but I'm here a lot. I hear a lot about this le level in particular. Hmm. Okay, so we can continue on over here, and uh, what do you know? There's a, an opening with, as luck would have it, a crate beneath it. Yay! So we don't lose as much health, as, or don't lose any health, actually. Um, now, I think we head over to this room, is that right? Maybe to the south, I think.
Nope. We want to continue heading west. Go west, young Lara. Which just miraculously opens as we approach it. Because... Logic? Is that the window? First boulder. Turn right and grab the ledge, runs along the don't pull up yet. Instead, first left above the shallow pit. And now pull up. Because this is, uh, that would kill you, yeah. Safe. Yeah, the boulder doesn't roll unless we go to the right there, which we're not going to do. So, wait, we want to go all the way to the end? Oh, there's a lava pit down there. I guess we don't want to go that way. But down here... Hmm. Interesting. Is, in fact, the first fuse. Yay! First of three. Continue along the passage as it slopes upward. Now we do have to be careful right here. Um, but I wasn't as careful as I should have been. Clearly. And we're all the way back here. It's okay. That's what I get for not being careful. Oh my goodness, it's 2 a.m. That's probably a good time for me to do the usual. Let's pull this out first. to the docks here first and then we'll do that. We'll do exactly that. Okay, 2 a.m. Another hour down. So, for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you. Please smash the like button, hit subscribe, kick the bell, and comment down below. I, res I respond to any and all comments as long as they aren't spam comments. Um, with what's better is to follow me on Twitter where I'm at Sturmby because that's where I make all my announcements as well as just in your old chit chatter. But even better than that is to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Sturmby where I stream twice a week, Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern and Saturdays at 2 p.m. Eastern. 
So until I see you on stream or until the next video, thank you so much and take care.